Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I wanted to talk about the energy as we're experiencing it right now as we go ahead in the next weeks as well as what we've experienced as we've come into this. So we've come from a season of eclipses and we've also come from a lot of change, deep transformation going on over two to three years and we've come through a space where we've had to fight through um, many obstacles before we could actually establish new beginnings. And for some of you, you might find that the new beginnings have not yet been established. However, there has been a ground laid for those new beginnings. So what you have been busy with in the last few weeks and months, I would say from about mid-March onward till this week, has been establishing the, the groundwork for what is to come. So whatever new projects that you've been planting the seeds for, it's time to go ahead and and put f your full momentum behind that as we go on for the rest of this year. For those of you who are still working through stuff and still coming to terms with what has been going on in the last years, it's time to lay it at rest. It's time to give yourself the permission to put it in the past. Um, this is not if you've experienced some kind of trauma or difficulty or heartbreak of any kind in the last few weeks, but something that has originated two and a half years ago, three years ago, it's time to end that cycle. It's time to end those cycles, whatever you've been experiencing. It's time to bring an end to it because as well, as much as it's been a healing time and as much as it's been uh, an excellent time in terms of getting to know oneself and establishing who you are and establishing how others will treat you in this world by re-establishing your boundaries and simply working with yourself through this time. What we've come to is a time where we're no longer working with ourselves so acutely or on such a surface level, but we're actually, um, the, the, the task ahead is actually to have fun. It's actually to enjoy life. It's actually to experience contentment. And as we go ahead now, uh, we need to put our forces behind that. And so the healing that we've experienced and the work that we've done in this last two to three years is actually in a space um, where it kind of rounds up, it, uh, it kind of rounds up by itself. It There's a tying up of loose ends and it's being left behind. Now, some of these uh, themes that we've experienced now, we will experience again in about six years from now. And it will be um, interesting to see how far you've come. So put a date on your calendars, on your electronic calendars, and tell me in six years from now, if uh, you are experiencing the same themes. Um, a lot of what we have been working with has to do with understanding ourselves better. <coughs> Excuse me. So a lot of what we've been working with has been about understanding ourselves better and um, being able to give ourselves what we need, being able to overcome any tendency to leak one's energy, any tendency to overstep boundaries, any any uh, allowances of boundaries to be overstepped as far as you are concerned by others. And so it's important now to be able to say, okay, well, fight is over, the struggle is over, and it is really okay to lay down your hat or you know, hang up your hat, however that saying goes, but to just give it a break and just to be able to give yourself a chance to enjoy life. Now, if some of you are feeling like you're facing many challenges ahead, especially with regard to finances and with regard to uh, job insecurity, or with regard to health, uh, with regard to your cars, or if you have um, cars, or with regard to your security of home, well, if you are experiencing any of those four factors, I want to say that there's good news for you because by October, you would have resolved that. The energy is so overwhelmingly clear that by October, the end of October, you would have resolved a lot. And by the end of October, if there's a bit of fuzziness right now, if there's an inability to make decisions, but not really sure of where one is headed, that is absolutely normal right now. 
And I want to say, just go with it and don't make any decisions until you are very clear about where it is that you want to go to. And I want to say that this kind of clarity will come around October. So the month of October brings great blessings um, and it helps you shift uh, just a little bit further as you are on your path. Now, I, having said that, the month of August now brings huge blessings as well because it's almost as if we've been under a rain cloud and um, it's been storming, it's been drizzling, it's been just ongoing forever and the skies have parted and it's about feeling what it's like once again. It's almost like for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, it's it's you we're going to be entering our autumn or the, or the fall period but it's actually feels like we're going to spring in terms of the energy the energy is very much about new buds pushing through the surface and a new bud pushing through the surface is something that is quite vulnerable quite prone to being broken and quite prone to not um having reached its um its fulfillment and what, what it is, is just like pushing through that dirt and coming up and we'll be, it's almost like we coming out from under the water to get that breath of fresh air, to be able to give ourselves that break. And you're going to enjoy the next couple of months. You're going to be able to see progress moving much faster than it's been. For those of you who've been in stagnant situations for the last decade or any time within the last decade, up to six years or seven years, or even 10 or 11 years. If you've been in stagnant situations, you would have felt the wheels have started turning, albeit very slowly and, and quite achingly in the last months or even towards the end of last year. And now you're going to find that it moves ahead very quickly, very, very quickly. And it's almost like you don't see what's coming around the corner and there are great opportunities that await us. And especially from a financial point of view, there's great abundance that actually exists. And I'm actually shooting this on a day in which the, the Hindu calendar uh, celebrates the Lakshmi Puja um, or the goddess Lakshmi. And the goddess Lakshmi is the goddess of prosperity and abundance. And it feels apt to be doing this video and telling you this good news and telling you that... Um, there is abundance ahead. That is not always the case, and it hasn't always been the case on the day that, it, that there's been a celebration of a goddess of abundance in the last years. In fact, there has been much, um, much loss um, that followed the, the celebration of the goddess Lakshmi, as well as some of the other abundance goddesses um, in other traditions. However, why, whereas one may look at it and measure uh, oneself to uh, situations be, be, like as they were six months ago, um, one may actually then find that uh, there is sadness or there is inadequacy. There is actually a, a huge amount of abundance flushing through our way, just coming through almost like floods, you know, and taking over and washing all, all over us. And it's something that perhaps is not really appreciated or not really seen, but it, but it is because we are able to pick up more easily and losses that have been felt, financial as well as other losses that have been felt in the last six months, will um, it will be fading away. There are going to be many more opportunities to be able to replace what has been lost. And so, yes, one might not be in a, in a better place than one was around um, October or December last year. But as we go ahead now in August and October, you are actually going to find that there's a whole lot of new opportunities and you're going to be getting new job interviews. You're going to be accessing more funds. You're going to be... Um, it's going to be more easier for you to be accepted into an institution that you've been waiting to hear from, as well as those of you who are in institutions, educational institutions, you're going to find that things move ahead much quicker. From um, a world perspective and from an energetic perspective in terms of how what we can expect from people in the world or trends in the world, I want to say that it's the opposite, okay? Um, it's the opposite because there is a lot of 
drama and a lot of um, panic that is being spread. And even though there is truth in that, um, the dramatization of it doesn't leave one uh, feeling quite very wealthy at the end of it. One feels quite sore, quite poor, and very much like the victim. Don't get got caught up in that. If you get caught up in that, you're going to actually find yourself feeling very miserable in the next couple of months while a lot of people are going to be making great headway and actually um, getting to a point where they really feel they need to be at. So as we go along, what we need to be aware of is that things will appear as if they're getting worse, but in fact, they will be getting better. We need now more than ever to be able to trust in the well-being of oneself, in being able to be, to be able to be, to, sorry, to be able to see oneself and have faith and trust that others will see you too. And I mean that in a master kind of way, you know, the divine in me honors the divine in you. I mean that in seeing one another as, as human beings or simply as living beings and, and sacred beings. And there's more of that coming through. So when I did an energy forecast around March, uh, or April, I might have talked about that because that was the beginnings of those energies. And we're going to be revisiting that now as we go on in August and September. There's going to be more connection. You're going to feel more connected with people and like you've been able just to share with people, like you're being able to to really see, see one another and that um, you actually are able to make space for people in your life. So Whereas it may feel like things are going really fast and time may feel like it's flying, you will be able to get more done in this time. You will be more productive during this time. So it's an excellent period in terms of productivity. If you are setting up a business or you are, you know, yeah, you're starting some kind of new enterprise, it's really an excellent time to be able to get through that and uh, set it up and get going with it. Um, I want to say that for some of you, if you feel like it's not getting off the ground, if you feel like it's not moving, then I think try to make a partnership at least till around February next year because it's going to be easier for many of you to work hand in hand with another. And that also requires a great deal of trust and um, a, a, a fair degree of compromise which brings me to the other theme that we are working with. We're working with humility as we go along. And the next few years will be about that. So one of the biggest themes uh, at bay right now is um, is also not just humility, but, uh, but also, you know, working with injustices, writing injustices. And you're going to find that you will start seeing how injustice injustices that you would have experienced or that you've been um, witness to that others have experienced will actually be righted in this uh, time. I don't know if righted is a word, but um, it will be balanced. It will be, the karma would be balanced, you know, the, um, whereas the, the, it, it might not be, you know, an equal balancing um, as in an equal payment um, in situations where payment is being made or an equal payment in terms of energy, what it is is um, a very satisfying feel of of justice. And you're going to find that on the world arena and you're going to find that also on day-to-day -day matters in your own lives. So look forward to that because um, we have been work working very much with the theme of injustice in the last months. Um, the theme of injustice will continue and we'll continue to work with that, but you're going to find that there are these pockets of satisfaction that you're going to get as you go along. So let me know when you have experienced that. I'm very curious to hear. Yes, so I don't want this video to be very long, just me sitting here and talking to you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section be below. I could talk about the energy for the next couple of months um, at length because it's actually so interesting and so diverse and and we have so much to look forward to um but um you know i want to say that for some it's not going to be that easy still uh but it really depends on 
your perspective and where you're looking at it from. Uh, so once again, try not to compare it to what you had last year. Try to just see it um, for what it is as we go along. So yes, oh, one or two, two more things. The energy that we've experiencing, we've been experiencing the last couple of weeks have been um, um, quite different, you know, um, for many of us. And some of you might have felt that you're quite emotional. Some of you might have found that you've graduated to a new level in your lives and that you have a greater understanding, or greater patience, or greater maturity. And some of you may be very much in the thick of it until the full moon on Monday, where you're actually crying a lot of feeling like quite devastated during this time. And I want to say, just take care of yourself and, you know, look, look after yourself, give yourself what you need during this time, because you potentially not really seeing things for what they are you're pro uh, probably a bit more sensitive than you usually are and I feel that has much to do with the energies as we're experiencing it right now uh, I feel that water is also very healing for people right now and I think that if you are feeling drawn to water just go and walk along a body of water or get into the water swim or just go and do things with regard to water if you have no desire to do that just go and take a shower <laughs> it's going to make a difference or just spend an extra um you know 30 seconds under the shower and and feel um, the effects of the healing qualities of water it's going to be quite um blissful almost so um that's only for you or those of you feeling like you need it or you're needing some kind of soothing apparatus in your life something that just gives you um some kind of feeling of being nurtured so water is there to do that right now all right so i promised that i wouldn't make this video so long so i'm gonna say goodbye at this moment uh but i want you to please leave your questions in the comment section and i'll answer them all uh welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you to my very loyal subscribers I really appreciate your comments and your presence uh, on the channel and um, sending you all very much love, many, many blessings and be safe, be healthy and um, blessings abound from Kesmet Rising.